All right. So for setting up uh, your domain, uh, if you don't have a domain name, you can simply edit your host file and add your VM instances static IP in there along with uh, whatever fake domain name you can think of and uh, you want it to be rooted to. This will take DNS uh, out of the equation and your Google Cloud as well as your host system will think this website is real and we can then configure our WordPress. Uh, since uh, we already have our external IP, there's another way you can find external IP. Uh, just let me write this command again. Curl if config. Dot. Yeah. So this is the IP address uh you can get for your uh, vm instance so just copy it and then you just edit your host file and uh, whatever ip you have here just write whatever fake domain.com whatever domain you have in your mind you can write it here since we have uh, a domain in hand google cloud platform.online this is the domain we'll be working at this is a real domain so um, I don't need to do this step if you don't have a domain you can just do these changes in your host in your VM instances host you will also need to edit your host file in your local system which you are running uh, just save these settings in both systems the uh, VM instance and your system and you'll be able to configure your uh, website so we don't need this so we'll just cancel this and just exit no and uh, since we already know the website oh, okay so now there are two ways you can set up your domain okay with a real domain name uh, one way is to go into domain registrars uh, panel and um, just add an a record and uh, put this external ip over there and save it uh, you it usually takes few minutes and that's about it the chain you will be able to see the changes the other option is uh, basically uh, you go to uh, add think if I'm not mistaken should be network services yeah so network services cloud DNS going to cloud DNS if it's not enabled it's gonna take like few seconds to enable it once you see the screen going to create zone and just write Google cloud platform or whatever name you want to call it since our website is real I'm gonna be using this name platform dot online so it's google cloud platform online and description i don't need it if you guys want to put it you can put it um, make sure it's public and then click on create so this is a record uh, we got um, now th for for the second option which i was explaining earlier uh, you basically are going to be changing the name server record uh, to the Google Cloud's assigned name servers and this will let Google Cloud handle this domain's DNS records now this option can take 24 to 48 hours because whenever you do a name server change it takes 24 to 48 hours for DNS propagation to actually take place um, for this tutorial um, we'll be opting for let's uh, choose option B and proceed as follow okay okay so this is how my DNS record looks like okay and uh, I basically have to add an a record so write a record oh sorry for this option B I have to basically mm, do a name change yeah so name change can be done from here enter my own okay so these four 
you have to enter it one by one control C control V you have to add two more or you can just edit it like this three four okay so what will happen is uh, this will change the domain settings and everything you may want to save your previous DNS settings if you want to so let me do that first uh, let's uh, there's an option called export yeah so there it is it's saved so now I can e safely change so edit This is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Make sure it matches with your actual cloud DNS uh, name server settings. And uh, one, two, three, that's it. So just click on save. Yeah, so this may take some time. Uh, because uh, DNS propagation usually takes place from 24 to 48 hours uh, these are the sub records which we have used um, uh, we just copy pasted it and you can you can keep checking your uh, NS records at uh, if you go to if I'm not mistaken yeah so here you can just write Google Cloud uh, whatever website you have and check their NS records so this will basically tell when it has changed so we have to wait for some time for it to change uh, otherwise you can just use uh, the A record settings which I've shown you earlier so it's totally up to you whichever option you want to choose one last thing uh, we want to add an A record um, uh, for our VM instance so let's do that um, take 60 minutes it's fine and whatever record we have uh, the IP address we have to use the same IP address mm. this one okay so for make an A record uh, like this and then click on create and then add another A record with the www and routing to this VM instance so this uh, DNS setup for the time being is all done. Uh, we will be coming back here to make some more changes, but for the time being, uh, this is all we need right now. All right, so let's check if uh, DNS propagation has taken place. What? Yep, there you go. You can see uh, now the name servers have been changed uh, to this one and now we can uh, move forward with uh, our next